Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky, and welcome to Road to Completionist Cape 2. I actually did not forget about this series. Um, I have, in fact, been slowly and steadily working towards the Completionist Cape in the way of Dungeoneering. Um, in the what, Road to Completionist Cape 1, I believe I was level 105 Dungeoneering. I'm now level 108 Dungeoneering. I have been doing a large floor every day that I get around to it. There have been a few days that I've skipped just due to being busy, but every day that I get around to it, I do a large floor on World 77 and I turn in my daily Dungeoneering challenge and that has gotten me all the way up to 108. So we're at, we're at ports right now and even though I know um, ports is not a requirement for the tr the com regular completionist cape, it is a requirement for the trimmed and this is only a road to the regular completionist cape, I still think this is a very important part of my account so I just wanted to have a quick like little ports update. Unfortunately I am still not on the last region, the pincers, I am still on the bowl region, however I am 90% of the way to the pincers. Uh, the main reason for this being is I only send out one set of voyages per day on average and what I have been working on lately is just um, attempting to get some of my buildings upgraded so I have to collect uh, this stuff, this slate, um, to upgrade my warehouse or something like that. I forget what it is but as soon as I get to the pincers region um, I will focus a bit more on ports I suppose and really try to get those trade goods so I have 35 plate 9 Ancient Bones, uh, 12 Lacquer, 22 Chi, and uh, a lot of spices, 85 spices. Um, and not doing so hot on resources, I don't have a whole lot of anything except for chimes. Um, but anyway, I'm not the best at ports, I just wanted to quickly show that. And uh, today, what we're going to be doing is actually taking off another requirement for the Completionist Cape, which is acquiring all kudos at the Varrock Museum. So, um, as soon as I'm ready to do that, I'll meet you guys back. So here we are at the Varak Museum, and I believe if we climb down these stairs, um, there is a door somewhere around here. Yes, I knew that there that was the case, and if you go in here, you can talk to um, this guy, Mr. Mordout, and uh, I believe that he will give me the rest of the kudos from doing all the Dragon King quests. Um, so, anyway, um, I suppose I'll need to talk about him a little bit. I'm just going to blow through these chat options as fast as possible, so if you're interested in actually reading these, you're going to have to uh, visit a different video. But anyway, um, unfortunately, I might have to actually kill the King Black Dragon or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure. Um, that's just what I've been hearing. I have killed the Queen King Black Dragon before, um, so it says I'm at 193 out of 198. Um, Okay, so I must ki either kill the King Black Dragon at least once, or I've already received the last Rider's Book drop. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to go do a K KBD kill. Um, I'll just go to Edgeville and gear up for that, and hey, we'll have some combat in a Road to Completion Escape video. What do you know about that? Okay, time to go in there and wreck the Q KBD's face. Um, so hopefully no one is in there at the moment. I'm not quite sure if you hop it might uh, undo your super anti-fire. Um, I don't quite remember that, but it doesn't matter anyway. No one else is here. Let's go. Let's wreck his face. Um, I have not killed the KBD since the evolution of combat, but I have killed him before the evolution of combat, obviously. Um, he doesn't look like he posed too much of a challenge. He does have a lot of hit points, which is a bit weird because this is a, a low-level boss, and I always thought it was more for low-level players. Um, although you can make a fair amount of money, um, if you do this really, really efficiently, you can make between like 800k and 1.2 mil an hour or something like that. Um, but hopefully he drops this journal thing so that we can get back to uh, Mr. Mordow and then complete the uh, the task there. I know that doing all the kudos isn't a huge task and I haven't really been working on the completion escape at all um, other than just doing Dungeoneering every day. But I figured since it has been three uh, Dungeoneering levels and I do have clips of those that I will put in in just a second here. Um, it is time to make a Road to Completion Escape video. Just, um, if you wanted a Road to Completion Escape, don't count on them being too common. Uh, okay, so Rune Plate Body, that's not a bad drop, I suppose. Uh, we'll keep that. Anyway, time to go back to Mr. Mordow, and hopefully that, uh, checks off what I needed to do. Okay, let's talk to this fool, and, uh, can you tell me about Dragonkin? Okay, I have killed the KBD. Give me the rest of my kudos. Come on, we can do it. I hope they don't add more kudos because that was kind of annoying. Dragonkin Lamp. 25k Slayer, that's not bad. Um, so, Varrock Museum kudos is completed. And before I show you guys the Dungeoneering clips, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the other things I've been doing on this account. Um, other than the Completionist Cape, 
Since I haven't been playing a whole lot since Dungeoneering, I guess my only really goals on this account are to gain a fairly high farming XP. I'm past 23 mil farming at the moment. And I also would like to get 200 mil defense uh, one day, probably not for a very, very distant future. But I'm currently at 57 mil defense, so over 25% of the way to that 200 mil. So that would be pretty cool to get a 200 mil someday. Anyway, um, don't count on another episode of this coming up for quite some time because, as I said, you know, it does take a very, very long time to get the Dungeoneering done. But when the day comes that I get 120 Dungeoneering, I will then, or soon before, finish all the rest of the completionist tasks and get that completionist cape. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Time to view the, uh, the other clips that I have in store. Okay, so here we have my Dungeoneering progress during the last month or so. I can't even remember when it was the first time I uploaded um, a video of the Road to Completion Escape, the introductory episode. But anyway, here was the first one, which is 105 Dungeoneering. Um, I was really close to that, so I just decided to do a uh, solo floor, I suppose. Um, 106 Dungeoneering, I don't know what got into me, but for some reason I uh, completely missed the recording there, so I just got a screenshot, which works almost as well. Um, so that's 106 Dungeoneering, that was pretty nice. And of course, 107 Dungeoneering, this one is pretty big, because um, that means I unlock the second to last boss, as well as Floor 54. Um, and also the second to last song in the game, so that was pretty cool. And then 108 Dungeoneering, um, again, failure, but uh, I managed to actually do a 13 minute large, and I was uh, keen, quote unquote keen, more like hosting, but anyway, that was a fun floor, um, and that got me 108 Dungeoneering, so that was pretty cool to see. Okay, so this is the site that I kind of use to track my progress. Um, the site will be in the description, as always. Um, but if you watched my Road to Max Cape series and you did see this site, this is just a different portion of it. Um, so at the moment, uh, this is all updated. I'm at 2484 out of uh, 2496 total level. Um, there is a new quest that actually came out yesterday, I believe. Uh, something to do with bacon. It sounds quite crazy. I haven't done that one yet, um, and due to that there's a couple more music tracks that came out, so I'm a bit short on those as well. But I was only one off until Virago and the new quest came out. Um, but those music tracks shouldn't be too hard to unle uh, unlock. And then the kudos, I now have all of them, so that's pretty cool. Of course, with the uh, the spells here from Livid Farm, I'm lacking on those. And then there's a whole bunch of miscellaneous tasks that I could actually do. Um, if you guys would be interested in seeing another Road to Completion Escape sooner rather than later, what I could possibly do is do some Fermatic Sagas and do some of these mini-quest things, um, and also uh, possibly catch all the Charm Sprites. Um, and I could do that and put that into a video and make that a Road to Completion Escape. However, if you're not interested really in seeing more of this series, I'll just wait until another month or two where I've completed a few more Dungeoneering levels and then make another episode. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, also, just for, we will check the trimmed requirements um, just for fun. And we'll see that I haven't really done anything here for the most part. Uh, I've just done the very, very basic things. Um, uh, the most thing that I've done I suppose is the artisan's workshop and the all the, I have all the scrolls unlocked as well um, but other than that I have not done much at all and I probably will not ever get the trim completionist cape here's one uh, personally poked Virago's eye out that sounds like a killer because I know he's not very easy at all to kill so uh, I suppose that's probably making some previous or some people that had trimmed uh, lose sleep a little bit over that but anyway, um, this is pretty much all up to date, um, so if you are interested on in seeing uh, my progress towards trimmed, even though it's something I'll never get, um, there you go. So just to end the video, I know um, I just wanted to show off some of my ranks. Uh, my defense rank, farming rank, slayer rank, prayer rank, and herbler rank are all in the top 10,000. Defense and farming are pretty high. Just to show off a little bit, I suppose. Um, that's about all for this video. I know this part is cut off a little bit. Uh, sue me. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, if you are interested in seeing another Road to Completion Escape sooner rather than later, I will do some of those miscellaneous mini quests and tasks and stuff along those lines and upload a video. However, if you're not interested and would rather see Slayer videos on my lower level account or stuff like that, I can also do that as well. Anyway, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.